What is up friends? My name is Laura. If you've never visited my YouTube channel before, welcome. Many of you know I did Summit Aconcagua in 2019, right at the end of the year. I put together quite a few different videos as I was going, um, you know, getting to base camp, getting to Summit, some Q and A's. I will link all of my videos below, but I did want to actually come back around as people are searching and maybe thinking about doing Aconcagua again this year and show you exactly what base camp life looks like. Base camp to me was super funny because it was like this bougie camping, but like you got amazing food, depending of course who you went with. And like I said, I'll link, you know, Q and A's below. I did go with Grujalas. I had all logistics at base camp, but just, just things like, you know, answering your questions about toilets there, food there, tents there, how long to stay there, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to roll some tape and be back in between, um, to actually talk a little bit about it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future your hikes and life adventures all around the world, but let's officially get started with Aconcagua, what it looks like at base camp. enough food was on <laughs> maybe weirdly enough you get really hungry when you put in a lot of calories um during your hike during the day but food was so good it was so good like they always had a delicious breakfast lunch and dinner for you if you were heading out elsewhere um to be hiking for the day maybe doing a carry to camp one anything like that they packed you a delicious packed lunch and then normally like on the way down back to base camp if you were sleeping there for the night then they had you know all these great snacks ready to go at the minute you came in so food was 10 out of 10 recommend and I'll show you some pictures and some videos of some of the examples that I got along the way there. Delicious lunch. Oh, that looks so good. What do you think about it? When it comes to things to do, some of the porters, you can hire porters just even when you're there and they're kind of there on kind of demand for if someone's looking for one um, or just suddenly someone is looking for a guide if they were going unguided, anything like that. These people are just kind of living up there for the season. So they're totally acclimatized, which is crazy because it's over 4,000 meters above elevation and they are playing this sport and I will insert it. My day is a day off today at Plaza de Mula, aka base camp, and it's just nice to get ahead with some things. So sorting what you need for a high camp and all of those kind of things. I also brought like a little laundry kind of thing here. So there's little tubs around and you kind of can use them. So 
I'm just gonna do a couple of pairs of pants and one of my layers for up top, which I'd recommend. And then you can leave them out in the sun all day. And then they're kind of somewhat a lot more clean for your days ahead. So you can see in here there in the distance, a helicopter. So a few things the helicopter does. The first thing is kind of brings larger items into base camp, but also um, when people need to be like evacuated for um, whether they are just sick of the mountain <laughs> or they need to go because they have water in their lungs, they're not feeling well, um, all of these kind of things, um, they have frostbite, they will go by the helicopter. So I would actually say that thing probably does about six trips per day. When it comes to actually how you'll sleep is within the section of, again, Grahalas, um, you could set up your camp in kind of a previous tent spot and set it up anywhere within that area. So here is the route to the bathrooms. <laughs> um, be, depending who you are using, you will get specific bathrooms. Um, you can also just go to the bathroom, um, but you want to be about 20 meters away from camp. Um, just so it doesn't start smelling or it's just also to be polite. Finally, there is a doctor up there and part of your actual card for being up at Concagua on your permit, you do need to see the doctor and they will check your vitals and give you the okay to continue. Aconcagua is one of the seven summits of the world. It is the highest peak in South America. I had gone the previous year and the reason I didn't summit was because of weather. There was just zero weather window. I, of course, a lot of it is luck and I did get lucky in 2019 going into it again and I had a great time. It was pretty fun once you got back to Mendoza, of course, because anyone who had summited and it was New Year's kind of just had a like a party, but nothing was also open on New Year's. Fun fact, if you're looking to go back to Mendoza and have a great time, but it still was a great time and just like sharing funny stories of the mountain. If you do have any questions about Aconcagua and I haven't answered them in my previous videos, make sure you just comment them below and I'll make sure to actually respond to you and hopefully so that you can get that summit as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you did enjoy this video of Aconcagua Base Camp and I will see you on my next life adventure. Keep living life guys. Bye.